with three gigabytes of RAM. With the iPhone 13 mini, it has that Apple A15 Bionic chip inside of it with four gigabytes of RAM. So let's go and see which one is the faster one between both of these. Okay, there we go. All the apps are cleared out in the background as you guys can see. So let's get into it. Let's do phone calls, three, two, one, and roughly about the same thing. Let's do music, three, two, I guess I don't have it here. Let's do their app stores, three, two, one, and there we go. We take it into a pop-up here, which is very annoying. Swiping through with this, you can kind of see roughly around the same thing, not a big difference. Getting into here, they're kind of about the same thing. And you can see how much more, you know, I guess a width you're getting on the iPhone 13 mini. Podcast, three, two, one. Get into a pop-up here, but it was much faster on the 13 mini than on the iPhone SE 2. Let's get into news, three, two, one. And there we go. I don't know why this one was so much slower than this one, but I guess that's what you have to do. Camera, three, two, one. Roughly about the same thing. Photos, three, two, one. And about the same thing too. Pop-ups on both, which is not a big deal. Hopping out of this one, let's go and get into some of these third-party apps that we always can get into. Let's do Fruit Ninja, three, two, one. And I think the iPhone 13 mini is definitely going to be the faster one here. And we do get into that pop-up way faster than on the iPhone SE 2. And we do get into, I don't know what that was. So let's go and hop out of this one. And I keep forgetting about the home button on the iPhone SE 2. Let's get into Facebook, three, two, one. And definitely the iPhone 13 mini is faster. Twitter, three, two, one. 13 mini again is the faster one. Stack, three, two, one. And a little bit of a pop-up here. We'll kind of give this one a leeway because of that pop-up, but even then, I still think it would have been faster on the iPhone 13. Let's do Snake versus Blocks, three, two, one. And I don't know why this one didn't open, so we'll load this one up in the background for, you know, the app RAM management and stuff. That's very weird, it didn't click open on here. Let's get into some speed comparison here, and we're probably gonna be about the same thing. Actually, the 13 mini kind of glitched up there. Hopping out of this specific application, let's get into Thank You, three, two, one. And again, I don't know why these ones don't want to click on here. It's very strange. So again, we'll load this one up in the background once more, and then we'll go ahead and get into it. This one took a while to load up here. Let's get into some of the, you know, kind of gameplay. And again, it's going to be roughly around the same thing. Hopping out of this one, let's do Netflix, three, two, one. And the iPhone 13 is faster. iPhone SE 2 a little bit slower. Quizlet, three, two, one. 13 mini again is faster. SE 2 a little bit slower. Dropbox, which we don't even have here, which is crazy. Let's go and do Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. And you can see the iPhone 13 mini, again, is the faster one. The iPhone SE 2 a little bit slower. Again, nothing crazy, but it is something to kind of keep in mind. Hopping out of this specific application, we can kind of do Snapchat 3, 2, 1, but I think we kind of have an idea which one is the faster one, and I do think it is the iPhone 13 mini. This phone is a very good performing phone. It's done a great job, and I think for sure when it comes down to it, this is a better performing phone than the iPhone SE 2, which is probably expected, but I'd probably tell you if you need to get a phone that's the best value, or at least for the best you know performance between these two, the iPhone 13 mini is the better option. Now let's go ahead and do a quick little...